Welcome to the Nautical Club of Thessaloniki and the Tornado World Championships 2017. The renowned club of Thessaloniki has a long-standing tradition in sailing and as a world-class venue has hosted many successful sailing events over the years. This year, the Tornado class celebrates its 50th anniversary, so teams are set to celebrate and enjoy tough and competitive races, great hospitality and share many special moments. Tornado class was, for 32 consecutive years, an Olympic class, and many famous sailors sailed this super-fast catamaran. Among them, sailing legend Elvstrom and Sir Reg White, the first gold medalist. First day, uh, World Championship Tornado class in uh, Nautical Club of Thessaloniki. The Nautical Club is uh, very happy to host uh, this very big uh, event. It is a sailing club that uh, have uh, already host uh, 470 class Worlds uh, Tornado class uh, Europeans previous years. And I'm sure that uh, this will be another successful uh, championship. Race day one kicked off with ideal conditions. A southwesterly breeze of 8 to 14 knots, with back-to-back -back winds going to the Greek partnership of Paskalidis and Konstantinidis. Mavras and Tagaropoulos were close behind, from scores of 2-2, two, two, with Australia's Burville and Putman in third, counting results of 6-3. The second day of the Tornado World Championship saw the 46 athletes from 10 nations focused intently on preparing their boats for the two races ahead. The Nautical Club of Thessaloniki is very much a home for the Tornado class and has launched the careers of numerous talents, raising many big sailing names over the years. Among them are Trigonis and Pascalidis, the seven-time Tornado World Champions. Let's meet the 2016 World Champions. I started sailing when I was 11 years old with Optimist class. In the age of nine. I like checking the boat, every part of the boat, every screw, every rope, every single thing. Normally I'm sitting in a chair and I'm telling him, OK, you can do this, you can do that, you can do the other thing, and then he's getting pissed off. My favorite food is uh, any food that has to do with uh, the sea, seafood general. Lentils with rice. This time the legendary partnership has split and made new teams with two new ambitious young sailors and are teaching them the secrets of tornado sailing. Proof the tornado class has a promising future. It's an honor to be here, to be racing in the tornado class along Costas, who is currently teaching me the ways of the tornado. We need young blood and Costas and Dani uh, involved in their boats. Uh, experienced young uh, for 70 crew members and this is an example how we can make the class attractive for the young generation of sailors. Eight to ten knots of southwesterly breeze served up two more close and intense races. Tom Pilling again to Pascalidis and Konstantinidis who scored two more race wins to make it four victories in a row. Second to Mavros and Tagaropoulos, who repeated their opening day form, scoring two, three, that was matched by the father and son duo of Rob and Mark Bayer from Germany, who scored three, two, and moved up to third. In the mixed category, Pavlis and Pavlisova began the day in first place, but Zens and Jens took the lead in a really close battle with Pikarski and Holtmarova. On to day three and racing intensified as teams tried to establish themselves in the leaderboard pecking order. Men, mixed and youth teams are racing and titles are awarded for the best placed in each division, demonstrating the tornado is for everyone, regardless of gender or age. There really is no difference. It's, um, it's not that physically difficult to sail and we, we've sailed in upwards of 20 knot breezes and I don't find it difficult crewing, so yeah any gender. She has a different character on the boat, so it's nice sailing with the girl. She's good because she uh, has a different perspective on sailing. Me. <laughs> a lot more me. <laughs> he yells more because I don't hear him sometimes, you know? Probably me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But uh, she's good for me, so she tells me to chill. Conditions for day three were again perfect. An eight to 16 knot southwesterly and two more races up for grabs. 
The competition was hard and predicting the final results was still a way off yet. With just one day of racing to go, tension was high. But Tornado sailors know each other well, and friendships last a long time. They're like a family, friends on the shore, rivals on the water. But they always honor and respect each other, whether on land or sea. For me, the Tornado class is an opportunity to sail against some very good sailors um, in a very sort of friendly and, and casual setting. Everybody's very helpful, and the guys at the front they're helping the guys at the back get faster and uh, that way everybody's closer together and um, having a lot more fun. One of the greatest things about this class is that everybody is a part of the Tornado family and uh, we all help each other on the beach but as soon as we're on the water of course it's very very competitive and no quarter is given. The penultimate day of the Tornado Worlds offered spectacular races. In contrast to the previous days, the wind switched to the north and increased to 16 knots. It was an opportunity to manage the competition skillfully and consolidate positions. Pascalidis and Constantinidis relished the conditions, keeping the overall lead from scores of second and a win to sit on a seven-point advantage over second-placed Mavros and Tagoropoulos, who scored 5-2. The buyer father and son partnership kept hold of third from results of 4-10. In the mix category, the Czech pair of Pavlis and Pavlisova took back the lead and bets with Schuster stood in second place, scoring equal points with Zents and Jens. The stage was set for the final day of the Tornado 2017 World Championships. Racetrack success would determine the new 2017 World Champions. Let's find out about the sailors' experience of the Tornado World Championships 2017 so far. It's been a great event so far. The weather's been really nice. The race management has been absolutely fantastic. The World Championship is very good organized and uh, we have a very good, good time. Everything is wonderful. We have parties, we were on the beach. Challenging conditions for the final day of racing as the wind started from the northeast, swinging to the north with numerous wind shifts. The outcome, just one race was sailed. No doubting the winners though, as Pascalidis and Constantinidis claimed their seventh win of the series, and with it were crowned 2017 Tornado World Champions. Second place to Mavros and Tagaropoulos, and third to Bayer and Bayer. Last day of the championship and we did it. We sailed really good. It's one of these very tough and difficult days here in Saloniki. It's very rare, this wind direction. We enjoyed it really, really much because we did really good sailing during this championship. So we did it. In the mixed division, a really tough battle for the last race broke the ties and brought the final results with Pavlis and Pavlisova finished seventh overall to claim the title, with second to Zents and Jens and third to Benz and Schuster, both from Germany. We are very happy to be at the first place and looking forward to next year. Let's take a look at the final results. The Tornado World Championships wrapped up with the prize-giving ceremony and massive celebrations. Thank you for watching.